Welcome back inside the Now Morning Show. Yes, it is time for the TTPS on Now. This morning, Inspector Michelle Lewis joins us representing the TTPS. Good morning, Inspector. Good morning, Rockers, and good morning to you. Now. Welcome good morning. back, Pleasure Inspector. to be here this morning representing the TTPS, and I'm happy to be here. How are you? I am well, thank you very much. And you all look well as well. Monday, we start in the weekend. Well, I noticed style. you alone drinking coffee this morning, is it? That... Do you like some coffee? Well, no, not really. Thank so you. So then I don't understand the problem. Well, I just had to throw that out there now. Well, I had to put it there. I just had to, you know, I just had to. There you we know go. what? Let's get into the conversation this morning, Inspector. This morning we're chatting about tips for smart use of social media, mm -hmm. especially by young people. Yes. Now, that we, is our we've seen several cases where people are, you know, misuse social media, whether mm -hmm. it be to post. Uh, images of themselves, videos of themselves in real time, oftentimes. Mm -hmm. And tell me, so tell me some of the dangers that this can actually pose. Yeah, so social media is good. We want to put that out there first and foremost that it is a good thing, mm -hmm. right? It is where we are now as a global community. It mm -hmm. helps for education, personal development, and everything like that, right? But with everything as well, there must be responsible use of it. Mm -hmm. And um, in recent time, we have seen and we continue to encourage young people through the guidance of responsible adults, parents, teachers, and that kind of, and those type of persons, to encourage young people to use social media wisely. And so this morning we are sharing some tips on using social media smartly and wisely for the prevention of criminal offenses and the preservation of themselves, their dignity, their mental health, and all of that. Dignity, Gil? Dignity. Lord, Dignity. you going to just reset Instagram? Oof. Because a lot of times as young persons, so youth is considered someone between the age of 15 and 29, right? Mm. Okay. And pre-youth would be somewhere between 10 and 14 years old. Mm -hmm. So we know that age group in itself is very active on social media. And the but use of social media. From 10 years old. Yeah. Like yes, because remember you use it for school. It's true. Okay. And so that's why um, I indicated earlier, it is used for education. Yeah, yeah, it can be, yes. But it must be monitored, mm -hmm. right? And parents must supervise and parents must also be a good example to children in the use of social media. Because we do have parents who are very irresponsible in the use of what they themselves post about themselves and on other persons. So we know that young persons learn by example. Mm -hmm. So in the first instance, too, it is not okay to post uh, bad things about other persons. So when you're posting information, make sure that what you see is what you'd like someone to post about you as well. Even so be kind in inspector. what oh, no, be kind in what you say because it cannot be taken back. Remember yeah. social media so that if, space. All right. So oftentimes we've seen people post things that may not be kind about somebody, but they're honest and they sometimes are trying to get some sort of justice in some way, form or fashion. Would you not recommend doing that or as a form of publicly, for example, if you post about a company that you've been uh, received poor customer service about uh, to try and get some sort of justice, some sort of retribution as to say, well, I want to get whatever back. I want to get my service properly. Is that the kind of kindness you're talking about or lack thereof? Well, this morning, we're talking young people. Right. Mm -hmm. And in the mind of a young people, you give them information incrementally and development according to the age of the child. Okay. So when you, when, for example, that information that you brought forward would be something that an adult would, would treat with and would put in social media, quote unquote, in a responsible way and tone using the appropriate language. Okay. Mm. So when okay. you talk about young persons putting information out there, you want them to put information based on the environment that they're in. Right. And that wouldn't put themselves at risk. Right. But if it is a young person, for example, went to the mall to buy an outfit and you know it was not, you know, the price and all of that. Mm -hmm. They also have the medium to the adults that they can use their parents in relation to getting redressed. Mm -hmm. And to go back to the store directly and say this is what happened, you know, I think that because I was a young I am a young person I was taken advantage of, which a lot of times happen, right. Right? right? But going to social media for every and anything is not the proper thing to do, particularly as a young person developing, mm -hmm. because then they learn to utilize media in a good and bad way. And some more times and often the bad kind of, the negatives kind of, kind of oversee and supersede um, the it direction that you want. It definitely spreads further and wider. 
Oh, I mean, so yeah, be it kind does. in what you post out as a young person. Okay, understood. Now let's get into basically these main tips for the smart mm -hmm. use of social media. Now you've spoken about the um, the pre youth, the 10, yeah, to, 10 14, to 14 years old. Going into the youth up to 29, which is yes. quite interesting as yes, well. Yes. But let's get into the main tips of what we need to know and what we need to share with our younger generation. So think twice. So the first one is be kind. The second one is to be think twice about what you put in. Before you hit that send number, that send button, think twice of what you're putting out there about yourself and um, where you're going, what you're wearing, um, how you're feeling, mm -hmm. um, what you're eating, um, where you live in, when mm -hmm. is your birthday. Information about yourself that you're putting out there that can cause anyone, be it good or bad, to trace you, to find you, and to use that information against you. So before you hit that end time, you share that information, consider what you are posting out in social media that cannot be taken back like that. There's also the dark cloud, which is another issue that we wouldn't get into, but it's just to mention that you also have a lot of persons that go onto the dark cloud who look at information, dark web, mm. and look at information and content and bring that forward against persons. Mm. Yeah, the dark web is definitely something. We will probably need at least 20 minutes to half an hour to have a conversation <laughs> yeah. about the dark web. But it's web, very real, yeah, and, oh, yeah. and, and a lot of people, young people as well, go into that space to utilize and to bring forward information. And information that can intimidate, information that threaten young persons and matters that can be before the court. And a lot of illegal activity. Yes, correct, oh. correct. We also want to um, let persons know as well that if you don't know someone and someone wants to friend you on social media, don't friend that person. Don't? Don't friend that person. Okay. You don't know the person, keep it like that. Right? A lot of times those persons who um, want to befriend you also have some other intentions. Um, having a million, a thousand friends just to say that you have all these amount of friends and it's persons you don't know, actually causing them to be in your private space. So remember to keep a level of privacy mm -hmm. as a young person on social media. And as you grow, as you get older, as you develop, you know, you can expand as you go forward. Now, just as no, a Inspector, young person, I, want to, I want to ask this question. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I ask this because I see a lot of young people on social media who are actually trying to gain that level of clout yeah. because they can monetize it, because they can see themselves beginning a career, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say we're talking about the, the second age group you spoke about, right? The, mm -hmm. the ones up to 29. Right, the older right? one. The older ones who want to, to say they're starting this career and yeah. they're using social media as that way to do it. And in that regard, there are going to be people who are going to follow them, who are going to pay attention to what they're doing, who they don't know at all. People, yep. mm -hmm. you want to get the more, the more eyes you have on you, the more the brands are looking to you to say, well, yes, I will spend my money by you. Yes. So how do you then maintain that, that level of saying, all right, I will have this privacy or this whatever, mm -hmm. um, but still be able to use this because it is a, at this point, it's a career. There are yes, people who is. make full careers out of it. Yes, it is. So you have, so you have the preaching from 10 right. and the age goes straight up to 29. Mm -hmm. And as mentioned before, as the person matures in age, the information and the content um, expands. Right. Mm -hmm. So for someone who is younger, a minor, under the age of 18, right? Um, in social media like that, you have to monitor it. But someone who's 24, 25, especially in the work environment already, that person is mentally more responsible, stable, knows what he and she, or so she they wants. Ought to be. They should be, yeah. Ought to be, right? And so um, the development is at a level that, you know, they can, because they're in career, they're into business, right? Mm -hmm. They might be into social media, following TikTok or whatever the case may be. So the level of responsibility and development ought to be there. Right? So when we look at youth, though the age group runs to, over someone who's now an adult, the responsibility really starts from younger and it grows with the individual. So that that age of, of that um, information content that you're sharing out there becomes more responsible. Remember, social media is a space where you cannot take back anything that you would have put okay. out there. So when a young person, a student, let me use the word minor, when a minor puts out photographs of themselves um, that are inappropriate and language and content that are inappropriate, when he or she goes into the, um, grows up five years down the road or ten years, want to get into politics or a particular career, profession, or even social media um, personality, those type of images and content can negatively impact 
where you want to go in the future. And so when we look at smart and responsible behavior from now, you're grooming that child or you're developing that young person who is considered a youth from 10, really, mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. being that responsible use of social media and the spaces, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, the, the entire social media platform. Now, you know, Inspector, this is a conversation that we do need to continue because there are so many different layers to this, especially when it comes to putting things out in the internet and it possibly mm -hmm. coming out to haunt you or sometimes seeing people flip that in a totally different direction. But for now, just to go back to as we're speaking in the um, cyberspace, essentially, what um, level would you say of crimes do you actually see taking place um, in Trinidad and Tobago when it comes to social media and like cyberbullying and that sort of thing? Well, we have the cyberbullying. Um and you have persons who go online to purchase items. And when you look at the origin of it, it was because um, information was shared on social media. Um, things for sale was placed on social media, motor vehicles, cell phones, and then they met someone somewhere, and then mm -hmm. larceny or robbery or something like that took place. But it started on social media, which also talks about the age that Rucker spoke of, right? Mm -hmm. Persons putting information out there, right? Um, so you see the cyberbullying, and cyberbullying is really the use of um, intimidating or threatening language through um, technology to, um, in, like I said, intimidate mm -hmm. or threaten someone, mm -hmm. right? And it could impact both the person who is the victim as well as the person who is the bully. Mm -hmm. And it can cause depression and suicide, right? Because when you isolate someone and you make person someone feel less than he or she actually is, when you have someone laughing at the person and that kind of thing, it really impacts negatively on the individual to the extent that someone can want to and attempt to commit suicide. Yeah, Definitely something to um, keep in mind, of course. Many times we just look at social media and say, well, it's a platform, but we don't necessarily understand how seriously it can be taken by many. We have about a minute left before our conversation closes. And two things from you, Inspector Lewis. Um, firstly, are there some telephone contacts specifically for crimes in the cyberspace and any closing comments that you may have for Trinidad and Tobago on this topic this morning? Yes, yeah, so the Trinidad and Tobago Social and Cyber Unit is based at the 10th floor at River side plaza so that any persons who um, have information in relation to cyberbullying or any kind of um, cyber threat or intimidation can uh, contact the cyber unit at Riverside Plaza 10th, uh, um, 10th floor there. But we also want to tell persons this morning to be very responsible in what you post. Mm -hmm. We also want to inform parents that you are the best example to minors. And so you as an individual must also be responsible in what you do, what you post, how you speak about persons in social media, because young persons are following. And so we want you to continue to help us to prevent crime and to make Trinidad and Tobago a safer place. And of course, if you see something, definitely see something. So we thank you this morning for yet another opportunity to partner with TTT, now program to be here and we continue to um, cover this relationship that we have with you. So thanks again. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Inspector Michelle Lewis sharing tips for smart use of social media by the youth. Stay tuned. Your birthdays are coming up after this on the Now Morning Show. Let's say thanks to the police. Love and